close enough to 2 a.m. So, welcome everyone to the first annual Team Rocket Summit at MAGFest. Thank you for staying up this late. <laughs> Showed up, especially because I made sure that uh, I told everyone not to actually post about this publicly. This isn't actually on the schedule. This is supposed to be a secret meeting, right? This wasn't like on the guidebook or anything. No, no it's it's definitely not that. Yeah. Oh, I, I think we might be breaking the law. No, no, no. If anyone asks, we are here as legitimate guests of MAGFest. And, uh, they were nice enough to give us this fancy panelist driven because for some reason they trust us. You'd be surprised how far an earth badge pin goes nowadays. <laughs> I have a quick question, boss. Yeah. Uh, are there any lawyers present, please? Any yeah. lawyers? Any lawyers? Mm -hmm. All right. What the hell are you doing now? Get out! 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 Oh, out. Well, actually, speaking of uh, guests, uh, per Team Rainbow Rocket Accords, uh, members of other business organizations are here, so if we have any guests from uh, Aqua Magma, even Skull, we, we're fine with Skull. They are a bit silly, but Aaron. whatever. Um, as for the rest, if you're here, uh, rocket, uh, or rocket operatives, please do not attack them. Uh, we do have that ceasefire with them. Uh, are there any Officer Jennies in the room? <laughs> Good. Good. Let's give it and if, there any, if there are any Officer Jennies in disguise, you can't prove anything. <laughs> Obviously, I am Giovanni. I'm glad to see that a couple of my body doubles are here in the audience doing a good job making sure that the authorities uh, don't actually catch me. So, uh, your service is greatly appreciated. But, uh, as for the rest of you, uh, you've probably seen the four admins walking around headquarters, but for those of you who might not have met them before, or for prospective operatives who haven't met them yet, we're going to do some introductions. We'll start on this side. Oh, dear God, why am I starting? No, 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 the one no, no. Oh, oh, the far side, the far side. Yes. Right Hi everyone, I'm Rocket Admin John. I am the Rocket Admin in charge of the science division. It's not rocket science, but it is rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> uh, most of my work deals with the uh, genetic recombinations of Pokemon into either two unknown species and or a Mewtwo project. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was the only one to survive that explosion. What were you doing? You were out getting coffee, I think? Yeah, yeah, uh, Starbucks took too long, so uh, I missed all the fun. <laughs> well, we're glad you're still here. Star you sauce bucks? <laughs> Next. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, hello, everyone. My official title is Professor Douglas Fur. Uh, but you can, call me, uh, you, can, you can call me Rocket Admin Doug. Uh, yeah, I'm rate my professor, sorry. Uh, rate my professor, give me a one. I actually, that's, that's my cover story. I'm actually the Rocket Admin in charge of weapons development. So if you've seen any of my recent projects. Uh, you like haven't. That, like that Mewtwo power armor that was going to work so well. <laughs> right? All those right? It, it that should work. we spend very, very good money on. Most of them were designed by him. Some by his predecessor who, well, uh, there was an accident in the lab. And that's why, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the one at the end later. And why don't we have guns? We, we don't. Whoa. We don't know. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So here's the deal with the guns. Here's the deal with the guns. Guns do normal damage. Explosions have your defenses. Alright? They do more damage. That's why I give you all those coffees. Come on. Half damage. Half defense. Half defense. Full damage. Alright. I am Rocket Admin Peter, head of it acquisitions. You might recall that there were two people in charge of head of acquisitions. Uh, it was a rather large position to fill in our organization. I have recently acquired both seats. <laughs> <laughs> so good at this job. I'm Rocket Admin Kevin. I'm the uh, maestro of uh, Sparky Sparky Boom. Uh -oh. uh, or, uh, well, sorry, it's a chief field tester for weapons and genetic Pokemon. So he's the wonderful person that gets to test all of their crazy things. So he may have some, have some shit. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Well, now that the introductions are over, I think it's only fitting that we start with a group recitation of the Team Rocket motto. So if everyone could please stand. Prepare for trouble and make it double. To infect the world of devastation. To now evils of their nations. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To pretend our reach to the stars above. Yeah. 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 Team Rocket! 
Said it was awesome. All right. Is he part of Team Rocket? No, no, no. He's not. No, no, no. He's not. No, no, no. He's not. Rock set. Rock set. Rock set. Rock set. Okay. I will officially validate that as an excuse. You just didn't know. Uh, there's a very important subject that I've been meaning to discuss. Uh, after extensive employee surveys, we found that apparently Zubats and Razzas are neither uh, desirable nor terribly effective in battle. Mm. Apparently, normal types suck. Nobody told me this. Sir, I've been told this for months. Oh, okay. Well, the question at hand is, what do we make our new standard issue Pokemon? I'm, I'm fine with it being anything that is able to breed, is not legendary, uh, not unique, and it has to be a first stage. That way, it, uh, the operatives can train them, but uh, like, we're not giving them Alakazam. Ditto's the transformed into Mewtwo's. It makes it that would assume that we still have Mewtwo's yeah. transformed. Who has a Mewtwo? Do you know one? Well, uh, then, well that, that's a later subject we'll be talking about, actually. So, so boss, I'm going to put Wait out Pidgeys. Why? So, so normal, just normal types pain? suck. Pardon? Normal types suck, yes. Because they are weak. Fighting moves. Go on. You know who has fighting moves? Fighting Pokemon. They do. You, you know who sucks against fighting Pokemon? Oh, sorry. Strike that reverse. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> you know who's no, good no, against fighting Pokemon yeah. birds? He's right. And I have heard that bird is the word. Give them giant ah. birds or small birds that grow up to be giant birds. I just got oh, no. Haven't you been Wait, working on a Zubat Ratata combo recently? I mean, I have a Pikachu. Do you have Pikachu? No. Is there any Pikachu that we have? No, that's a Pokemon. Why would you ever require that? We have a question up in the box. Operative, Operative, please. They have a tendency to get Here's, Here's, the, Here's the problem with Gastly's. They're immune to explosions. And I'm not okay with that. Okay, don't we want our operatives to have Pokemon that are immune to their teammates' explosions? This is fair. I like this but idea. You, you know, I could, I could see one or less explosions oh, once a day. Hadoof! All you do is... Okay. What did we say about Donald? Don't say that thing! I've been hurt before. <laughs> the rocket with another rocket operative on his hand. 
The uh, Pokemon that would be best suited to your operatives would be the Magikarp. What the heck? <laughs> Who is the that? Magikarp grows up to become a very powerful Gyarados. Evolution uh, is just a theory, okay? I, I think Gyarados is very powerful, but I don't necessarily have to hunt as all of our operatives be able to raise a Magikarp to that level. We have one particular operative on record who had a Magikarp, kicked it, and then spurred it into evolving into a Gyarados, which nearly killed him. You know, to be clear, that operative was particularly inept. You mean, like, right there, boss? Agumon! You know, I could remember that. <laughs> Agumon, I need to know more. Is that no, like it's gen a water type? Aquaman. Well, generally on, anyways. Hey, we will be uh, sending out some employee survey, so uh, we will be taking further input on that, but uh, we do have other matters to tend to. Uh, as has been discussed, the matter of the Mewtwo project, which how on earth do so many people know about that? It was supposed to be classified! It wasn't exactly quiet, boss. That's the thing. Wait, what, did they make a freaking movie about her or something? Yeah. There was a whole world of movie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, there was a movie made about this and I wasn't informed? Wait, you weren't cast? No. I'm pretty sure Ryan Reynolds cast is you. Ooh, ooh, I'd be good with Ryan Reynolds being cast as me, actually. Yes, I'd find that. You know, definitely not like a squeaky mouse or anything. That, what that, that, that's that, ridiculous. Uh, obviously not. Ryan Reynolds cast as a talking mouse? Who would do that? Ah. Anyway, so the matter of the YouTube project. Uh, there are still some remnants in Cerulean Cave, and I'm looking to have some of our operatives go in for a recovery mission. This is going to require some very heavy machinery, and the trouble is, it's going to be very difficult for us to get in and out without the citizens of Cerulean seeing it. So the question becomes, how do we distract the population of an entire town for approximately 12 hours? inside the Cerulean City Gym. No one has ever done that. If you say so. No, uh, just submit the paperwork. Okay, okay. okay. Like, I'll consider that. Were there, there any other ideas? To, so, distracting Cerulean for 12 hours. Well, uh, going back to those of the new that were mentioned as a potential for our standard operatives equipment, <laughs> we could, we do have a surplus of them, and this we could true. use a lot of them to dam up upstream of Cerulean. That, I think, would tie them up quite nicely. Potentially. Uh, uh, we have an operative with green hat with a potential idea. Yes. My but suggestion is you type. pressure the local bicycle businesses into racking up prices so exorbitant and high that the to Vermilion City to listen to an old man rave about rapid ash for way too long. And while an our official bicycle shortage. You know, I'm not that's, sure that no, I'm to be fair, that's rather, da that's rather dastardly. You know, that that's would like, be quite the feat considering that I've never actually seen anyone charge for a bicycle. <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, I'm uh, also, so, I like that bicycle idea, idea, but let's make it a festival so you, everybody competes for that bike voucher. We put it in another city, like Vermilion, and then, you know, people do a for money catching competition for us, so we get the Well, the thing is, I was going to say we could do a festival for the St. Anne if it were still operational and not on the bottom of the sea. I'm sorry! That was one time, okay? Now, uh, do you have any idea one time. that ship? You guys keep me no, that truck. you and your wave motion and... Uh, okay, I was experimental for the first time. I didn't think that iceberg would be there. One job. Goodness. Oh, well. But you know, the National Park does a, a national uh, Why are we competition every Wednesday. Up? 
That's Why all we need. Show to you. Yeah. Bringing up all of my failed projects. Can we talk about something successful? Like, you don't like, 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 you tell me. I've been testing your stuff for four years. I haven't seen zilch. <laughs> Sparky, I retract my statement. Uh, 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 of course, yeah. the best type, right? But I still need the money. I still need my budget. Yes. If, so, sorry, if we're still on Cerulean, I've been working on a series of miniaturized peaches that we could release into the Cerulean gym. Short everything out. Water's everywhere in that. That's true. There's almost as, wa as much water there as there is in Hohen, because goodness knows there's way too much water in Hohen. <laughs> Oh, yes, oh, yeah, and uh, speaking of 7.8, 7.8, too much water. But uh, speaking of gyms, I have been considering at some point making our own organized uh, league with leaders, so you all would probably be gym leaders, uh, we might have some other operatives. Uh, I've been toying with different names, I'm thinking of calling it Rocket League. I don't think anyone's used that. <laughs> Well, boss, how are we going to get that past the uh, Pokemon Inspection Agency? You know those Oh, you'd assume we even try. You know, those Nurse Joys, they're, they're a dastardly devil, you know? Not pink hair, you know, that pink hair is not recognizable Oof. anywhere. But you put a face mask over it, and it's like, what? Who is this person, this dastardly devil? Tuxedo mask? Tuxedo mask? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, dear. Well, I'm, I suppose I'm sort of into no, yeah, no, 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 not even going through that. But anyways, there, there is one other thing. So, uh, as we were discussing some of our operatives, actually, before the panel began, uh, many of you who are here uh, filed your paperwork to be here on your allocated days off. None of you admins actually filed your paperwork to be off here, and none of you have actually caught any Pokemon for me over the past several days. I hope you have some good excuses. Catch Pokemon? <laughs> what? That's, that's, that's why we're admins, because we catch things. He says not having caught anything in a while. <laughs> well, no, you you're not we're not counting those I got. No, we're, we're definitely not, not counting loudly. We're, we're not counting. Isn't that why we're admins? We have other, other uh, members do the work for us? Technically, we'll take that. The problem is no one wants to work for me anymore. I have no idea why. That's I don't why want to work for you, you anymore. anymore. No, I don't want to work for you anymore, but I'm stuck here. I'm because I'm the only one who survives. Yes. They, well, they, Looks like to be fair, you are only one of three operatives who is, for some reason, able to survive falls from terminal velocity. There's this other pair who just, we get reports day in and day out of them, like, blasting off, going high up in the sky to the point where they make a little star, falling back to Earth, and they're somehow still alive. Every time, it's like they do this on a weekly basis or something. I don't know how they survive. You I, have, I have to say, they're probably my favorite staff that I've found, because they're the perfect blend of expendable and vulnerable. This is true. Just, honestly, the only reason I actually still keep them on the payroll is because of their just surprising survivability. I was thinking at some point, I might actually just turn them over to you for some gene research. I would love to get my hands on those genes. <laughs> and they also have this talking me out. That it, it was amusing for the first couple seasons, but then it just got annoying. Like, yeah? Now, now does yeah. it have a more articulate yeah. than the normal Yes, but it, to be fair, it's probably more articulate than the two operatives that work with it. You know how it would be much easier? Like, it would be able to understand Pokemon if we just took the genome from that me out. And so it's like, what's wrong, Pokemon? I don't understand. And it's like, I can talk English, but... Well, I don't think there's actually anything different about that. I, of course, I'm no expert. It was a bad Two to six months if you do. That does seem like a bit of a drawback. It does. As the Meowth is the only competent member of that three-person team. And that's... That's still a stretch. Yes. I say competent with a uh, Heavy fairly air massive amount of gamer salt. I have one. We did it. We distracted him. Wait, what? Oh. I don't think nothing. 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 Nothing at all. Oh, well, uh, let's see. What do we have next on the agenda? Uh, Go Team Rocket. Yes, yes. Good, good, good. I am quite vain. You'd be surprised at how much flattery will get you here. Team Rocket. Daddy? What? Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> That's new. Yeah. What are we supposed to do to 12-year-olds? Because they're scary. Um, 
Avoid them mm -hmm. at all costs. Yes, honestly, yeah, just for legal reasons, avoid them at all costs. Have you, have you heard of kryptonite? Okay. <laughs> They're pretty much that. Okay. Yes. So. I think it's it's 11, 11 is fine. Really 13 is okay. 12 is not. But and that's the time. problem. We've had that one just sitting there. But to be fair, I, I, we really do need to give 10-year-olds more credit because, I mean, we are trusting them to go out in the world unsupervised with the creatures that honestly contain more uh, firepower and destructiveness than a gun. So and why we're just him around? this for some reason, but hey, I, I guess if you gotta grow up sometime. So why do we keep him around then? That's a very good question. We'll be discussing that in the office on Monday. The idea is that I research the Pokemon and turn them into weapons. It's just that the weapons don't work as well as the Pokemon. And meanwhile, I research the Pokemon and literally turn them into weapons. <laughs> we can well, also do not work the Pokemon. Well, except for the one that works so well that it... Uh, never mind. So, I you're got, you're, so why are you guys both here? All right, really? moving on, moving on. Where is he? So, we have, a, uh, we have a question. Yes. yes. Uh, I'm a grunt in the research department. Yes. Well, thank you for your service. Oh, Glad to have you here. Do you still have all ten fingers? Well, that's what I wanted to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, it seems like there's a severe misallocation of funds away from, you know, healthcare. No. <laughs> my, my misunderstanding is, do we not have incredible hacking abilities? Under our hacking culture? abilities? Yeah. Why would you need to use computers when you've got Pokemon? Somewhere. Well, all I'm saying is, if we could just get it so that Pokemon centers recognize grunts <laughs> as Pokemon, we could <laughs> never have an issue again with help. I find this incredible. Oh, no, no, we can't use Porygon anymore. They caused, uh, what was it? They caused seizures? That's <laughs> it. Okay, so, so put that away, put it away. So here's the deal. I've actually been working on a way for resurrection. The problem is, it currently requires the deceased to become a fossil. Now I'm trying to see if it simply would work in a couple months if I pour them in concrete. So I'll let you know how those subjects go in like. I actually have a different solution. Uh, it's a bit more brute force on the electronics, and I don't quite have enough rotom yet. Mm. Have you tried crying on them yet? <laughs> on the rotom? I would have no, I'm on resurrecting Pokemon. Oh, right. I see. <laughs> on the dead boy, oh, that's... Mm. No, no, no. You have to and you have a wet corpse. That honestly <laughs> sounds like some ridiculous fairy tale. I couldn't see or it ever wet. working. No. <laughs> it would also require you to care about your test subjects. Yeah. That's also true. And the oh, problem, no, 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 this is fair. Have you ever seen a slowpoke cry? <laughs> have you ever seen a slowpoke <laughs> anything? <laughs> this is what we get for recruiting from the ethics board ban list. <laughs> well, to be fair, I would not work anywhere else. Well, then, so, to be fair, uh, don't get me wrong, I still do care about all the operatives. I'm really glad that you came all of it here at this late hour on the last night of MAGFest. I hope you've all been enjoying the convention, because I certainly have. Um, but uh, as seen from the Rainbow Rocket Accords, uh, not only are we open and accepting to uh, all different teams, but uh, the Pride logo is still very important because here at Team Rocket, if your heart is villainous, we do not care how you identify or who you love, you are still accepted here at Team Rocket. So that's here, very here. important to us. Here, here. Here, here. Well, so speaking of two, the technology that led to the Rocket Accords, uh, as you all know, we got that from Parallel Dimensions, uh, where the various teams were able to actually uh, succeed in their various missions. Now, with that technology, we've been looking into other uh, Parallel Dimensions. Now, this is very expensive, so uh, I'm only going to be allocating funding for one other universe of exploration. We've narrowed it down to two choices, so I'd like to discuss which of the two we'll be funding. Uh, one of these parallel universes is one where Pokemon are not actually living creatures, but are printed on children's playing cards imbued with Egyptian magic. A universe where Pokemon aren't actual living creatures, 
but are computer programs or digital monsters and uh, have interaction with machinery. So which universe of alternate Pokemon should we be investing in? Card games, so, absolutely. Card games. All right, so we have these two. There's no way it can't be one of these. The operative in the tan hat over there. Yes. Okay, I, I just want to say, uh, your experiments are getting way out of hand. I mean, good grief. I'm from Lilac, incognito. What are you doing? Seriously, you're ripping the space-time continuum apart. If you don't choose now, this might as well, everyone here's dead. Just saying. Mm, okay, so well, yes, I see your point. We, we do want to space-time continuum to survive, so that is all the more important. Why do we, Why do we want it to survive? Well, What's it ever done for us? <laughs> also, uh, as to the digital monsters, uh, I believe that the Koryon experiment, while successful in many ways, also uh, Seizures That's right. Oh, gosh, that oh. is disqualifying, isn't it? No, it was not. Uh, well, well, let's hear from a Porygon user, perhaps. That was Pikachu. He framed Porygon. Porygon's a bad Pikachu record. framed Pikachu. Oh, it. It's always Pikachu that's <laughs> ruining our plan. Uh, in the purple shirt. So I heard that if you're having trouble with Porygon, there was a second one produced, a Porygon 2. I think Porygon 2? That's not a creative name at all. I think this would include Battle Royale and Microtransactions. Microtransactions. Go on! That sounds like a great way to make money. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I, uh, want to get a greater sense of pride and accomplishment from you. Don't! Can I just give you a lot of money and buy my Porygon from you at your game corner? Yeah. I mean, I'd be totally fine with that. We, yeah. we had that. Yeah. It's Wait, a we have a game corner still? Well, well no. I, we'll even put it in a deluxe ball for you. Yes. Ooh. The trouble yeah. is, the Celadon game corner was shut down a couple months ago by you authorities. That's rather unfortunate. Corner? We discussed buying out the Safari Zone, actually. But that was just a bit too pricey for our range. Uh, I think we've actually that? settled on a fishing business. Uh, yes, so the, uh, specializing in uh, more mollusk type things so that we would have a proper shell business. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. More things to invest in. Um, Here. I, I propose a third universe. The third universe, what do you have for uh, us? I heard from a Hexmaniac, the Hexmaniac about things called yokai. Oh, I know. Oh, 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 all those type of things. Don't you have to keep a really close eye on them? Watch them closely? Gotta shake it once in a while, beat it, you know, you know, give it a shower. Sounds like an awful lot of work. Yeah, this is not like you should be fun. Couldn't we take all of this money and just purchase rare candies and not even need more Pokemon? What that money surprised at how expensive rare candies are to produce. We've tried. The problem is there's nowhere you can actually buy rare candies. That's why they're called rare. Otherwise, they'd just be candies. That's the problem. I, I'm working on it. So far, all I've got are manufactured candies, and they don't have the same ring. It's not quite as cool, though. Yes, you're right over here. I think the biggest question about the different dimensions is which one has more 12-year-olds. And oh! But why dimension with less 12-year-olds? Because there's going to be inherently less resistance. Hold on. Was, wasn't, wasn't in the Egyptian dimension, didn't we see a lot more adults playing children's card games? I think that's in this one too, though. But they had cooler clothing. Either that is true. Sure. And their hair. Their yeah. hairstyles in that universe. Well, well, I think we have a simple thing. Yes. Card games all the way. Card games. Card games. Card games. Card games. Potentially on motorcycles. Only potential. Yes. All right, so uh, next topic we have uh, our recruiting. Oh, dear. So, I, I really do like Cerulean City. It's a great city, and uh, just to, since it is so close to Viridian, that, that's why I like to have a lot of our just different pilot programs tested there because we're able to get very quick feedback, we're able to get new operatives out very quickly while it's still being outside of our given locality. Um, so the Nugget Bridge uh, thing, I, I didn't actually authorize, I, I found out that it was getting the nickname of Nugget Bridge, and I asked around why. Apparently we were giving out lumps of gold? I didn't authorize that anywhere. 
Plus, the person at the end of that bridge wouldn't actually wait for someone to respond to ask if they would like to join Team Rocket. They just assumed, no, they don't want to join Team Rocket. And then they battled them for some reason. And that's not the way to get recruits at all. So, well, first off, they've been fired. But now we need to figure out new ways to recruit new grunts. Because while I'm very pleased with the turnout that we have here tonight, I want more here at the second annual Team Rocket Summit. And we'll be discussing how to make that happen later. Sir, have you considered using pyrite instead of gold? Pyrite? Yes, cold gold. It looks like gold, but it's not. Pyrite. Interesting. Is it any relation to pyro? A little bit. Uh, pyrite is what you get when you compress a, a pyro under intense heat and pressure. So that was from your test? Yes. Gotcha. Uh, right there, uh, in the blue shirt. Why don't we serve jelly donuts? <laughs> Everyone loves jelly donuts now. That's an idea. The only thing that people like more than jelly donuts are dry pans. Uh, right there, with the adorable TV on your head. Boss, first off, great job. Thank you. Like I said, flattery will get you everywhere. So, a lot of the teams, uh, their bosses, they, they mission stars, uh, sometimes quite literally, uh, with all these rules of Pokemon, and then they fall short. And, you know, they might go to the convention and such. Those grunts, they're probably looking for a job afterwards. Right? So we should have a program that's kind of looks on these bosses about to, you know, fall out of their face and come around and say, hey, we'll keep rocket, we'll pick you back up on your feet, Ooh. we'll give you a place to stay. Not, not bad. Not Trust me, we always want to help people get back on their feet. The yeah. Yes, I'll, I'll be looking at that. Actually, uh, Team since Rocket you brought it up, so you'll be the one in charge of that initiative. Uh, Janice from HR will be speaking with you on Monday. Team, Team Rocket. Rocket. Recovery Program. All right. I like it's it. better recovery than from fossils, certainly. That's a that's a fantastic motto right there. Team Rocket, when you're here, you're family. <laughs> we should write that down. We should write that down. Yeah, and it's certainly an easier motto to remember. In the grid. Um, explosion? Explosion. Yeah. She's on something. <laughs> I, I don't think oh. so. I disagree. No, wait, we need more of them. More explosions. Okay, wait, wait, no, no, no. It's 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 what if we wrote rocket in the sky with explosions? See? Oh, here's the thing, right? You're not you're not going into how we get the rocket up in the sky. We put it up there with rockets. Rockets to make a rocket shaped explosion out of explosion. So would you say to get them up? I knew I shared a lot with you for a reason. So to get these people off the ground, would you say that we need a pilot program? You suck! That's why I keep him around. I've heard uh, of you over here. here. Yes, as a field operative on one of the more weather heavy routes, have we thought of taking our frying pans and converting them into drying pans? Like I said, the only thing that people like more than jelly donuts are drying pans. Uh, it's eat? it's a bit heavy on the overhead. Uh, uh, still suck. That was the last successful project for Mr. Weapons Guy. I don't know why he was putting a drawing hand as a weapon, but it was very effective. Okay, its vertical launch capabilities are fantastic. Very good defense. Oh, goodness. Ah, uh, yes, right over here. Didn't you say earlier you got a bunch of spare hypnos lying around? We do. Yes. What about them? You can use them on people. Well, no, we already discussed why we can't do that. There was that one time where people thought they were Pokemon and just like that made them completely useless. Can you catch them? Unfortunately, no, we tried that. If we try to catch people, no, the people who think they're Pokemon, catch them. What kind of sicko wants to catch people? I caught people once, it was terrible. I think that that's what's wrong with the Officer Jennies. Oh, the best way, in my humble opinion, to get more recruits is, now, hear me out, because this is still cheaper than nuggets, free t-shirts. The children will already have the Team Rocket R's on their shirts, and so it'll be like they're halfway members already. That way they will pressure each other, and let me remind you, these are 12-year-olds you'll be targeting. If you pull in the 12-year-olds into your team, then you will effectively quadruple your power for every new recruit you pull in. That's a pretty expensive budget. Now here's the thing as well, what we could do along with that 
is release t-shirts, but only release a certain number of them. And that will dramatically increase their value when people find they're actually it, quite appealing. It gives oh, prestige to the symbol. Exactly. You'll finally have use for that cannon yeah. below t-shirts. Yes, a t-shirt cannon. It's a supreme idea. Giovanni, do you know who the secretive leader of the Vermilion Gym is? I've, I've heard rumors. Let's search. Who? I thought this was in the manual. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> 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 Why did we hire you again? Who hired you? Because I can't read. Are you like I said, you're you not your family, family even if you can't read. Expendable. I need him it's for my sensitive information, right? What sensitive information? It's okay. If like we write you down, do. if we write down <laughs> sensitive information and they can't read, it won't get out. That's the point. Okay, so. Uh, I am currently looking through some of the tweets, and I'm actually really pleasantly surprised at how many of you have been tweeting questions. Thank you. Uh, so, one that I am particularly interested in that is in my fancy. <laughs> Which of you has the sickest dance moves? God! <laughs> so, who wants to go first? <laughs> the, dance. the question is, can somebody bring up uh, you know the Pichu Jukebox Team Rocket song on their phone or something? Because if you can do that, I'll make this happen, because I have that authority here. <laughs> Sean, would you like to start? I'm only going to make you dance for about five seconds, because goodness knows all of us are horrible at dancing. Mike, yeah. All right. So, the only dance move that I know is the Soda Widow. <laughs> 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 He's doing it right. <laughs> Your turn. Yes, yeah. my turn? Come on. Okay. Okay. I know the one. I know the one. God! The worm. It's, it's, a, it's a variation the worm? of the word. <laughs> the worm pull. Yes, those are currently uh, allowed uh, via the current health insurance policy. Uh, we, we are fine with uh, top surgery for uh, operatives who are interested. Um, swing by my biotech lab whenever you want. Do not swing by his biotech lab. <laughs> yes, we, you get a professional. He's not a professional. And I shall lab coat and everything. And where is your official licensing these days? Well, okay, so what do you get when you cross a Taurus and an Octillery? Try All of your funding pulled. All of your funding pulled and a sternly worded letter from the Board of Ethics. We have a Board of Ethics? No, Both of you no, no, no. we don't. Was For it very good to assume that you were ever uh, even on the Board of Ethics radar? This, this is before I came to work for Rocket, sir. Ah. It makes sense of why there's so little on your resume. That's now. why we hired him. Why are female rockets paid 75% less than males? That's unacceptable. I will be speaking with accounting on Monday. That is not going to continue happening at Team Rocket. Uh, this gentleman right here. What is, what is the official safety policy on getting stuck on the spinning tiles? Ooh, that was actually another thing. Um, well. The safety policy is that we provide everyone with motion sickness bags. How, but how do we get off? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, how do we get off? Jump. And, all, and so, also, uh, and you also, find those other up. tiles that have like four mini tiles on them. There's there's trash cans for a reason. There's vomit everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been down there in a while. So I, I there. Okay. Well, speaking of which, I, I take the elevator. Good point. Um, because we had so many problems with those, uh, and because of, we had to move out of the silk tower, because that kid just keeps getting in our way, we now have a excess of spin tiles and warp tiles just lying around the office. 
and people keep bouncing around, so I'd rather have them installed somewhere. Where are we going to use them? Uh, with this shiny tentacle. I like it. Uh, Ivana, you said that uh, 12 year olds are your kryptonite. Well, not mine personally, but well, it seems to be the kryptonite of the rest of our office. Don't you, don't you have your own son that could join Team Rocket? Yes, the matter of my son has been brought up. I have been trying to make amends with him. I realized that I was not as good a father as I should have been. Uh, we're going to counseling. And have you ever considered running for president of a democratic republic? I honestly have no interest in such things. Team Rock is the only family I need. Plus, it, it just, plus, it's just so much work. I, I'd rather not mess with it. It's too messy, even for me. Uh, yes, you, sir, in the red. I want to talk to you about your HR department and your hiring. Uh, when I showed up in this dimension, my first words were, where the hell am I? And you just said, you're hired. <laughs> Like I said, we're Just accepting of everyone. You're part of the family now. <laughs> part of the rocket, part of the crew. Uh, other questions that we have from hashtag Team Rocket Summit. Can my cat join? Sure, I mean, we already have cats on for several teams. If they talk, even better. If not, eh, just uh, you'll have to feed them yourself. I'm allergic to cats. That's why I had to get rid of Persian. It was, it was a sad thing. Yeah. Do you have a question for us to consider that? Yeah. Um, on a topic of hiring and yes. a t-shirt idea, I'd like to go with that. Instead of giving a t-shirt, we could sell like boxes of t-shirt to someone and let them join a rocket organization, and they can sell those boxes to other uh, new recruits. So like a pyramid. That's no, quite the scheme you've got there. That's, that's, that's quite a scheme. I didn't think we'd broken into the Egyptian dimension yet. <laughs> yes, that's true. Well, but still, that is the one we are going with because that's the one with the card game. So, uh, Egyptians and pyramids, and it relates to pyramids, it all sounds good to me. We're very on brand tonight. Yes, indeed. Okay, but can they be rid can they be played while riding on motorcycles? Possibly. Yes. No. Everyone's on a rocket ship while riding on a motorcycle. No. Oh, easy enough. The first rule. But it, well, either that or bicycles, because let's face it, bicycle gangs are way cooler than uh, uh, motorcycle gangs. Uh, yes, in the green. If we are looking to hire more members, would it make more sense just to take over a radio station again and just try that out one more time for the advertising? Well, actually, hey, speaking of hiring, another thing that we had discussed previously was, um, I, like I said, flattery gets you everywhere. And just, I really felt the flattery when uh, some of the operatives took over the Goldenrod Radio Tower and made that call out to me that uh, it was heartwarming. And even though the radio tower then got taken back, I decided to just buy the radio tower. So now we have our own uh, Team Rocket radio network. We've been discussing various uh, versions of programming. We have the uh, Saturday morning children's education uh, rocket science hour. Yeah. There were several other shows that we had involved, but I don't really remember what we had for the lineup. Uh, there was going to be an afternoon show for sports, I think. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the electric buzz is pretty, pretty on fire these days. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a bit of a problem. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Um, so, as for, what do you do with all of your um, your stuff that you Or we use the warp panels to bring them to our HR office. That's too confusing. I don't get it. This is true. That is too confusing. I like it. Uh, Celadon Games Corner security questions. Like I said, unfortunately, the game corner was shut down by the authorities. Very long time. So, so I'll, 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 I'll just summarize all of the Celadon Game Corner security questions. The Celadon Game Corner is not secure. Don't go there. It makes you. How high is Youngster Joey on Team Rocket's hit list? Very. As you see, he's retired. Is Team Rocket an equal opportunity employer, as you've said multiple times? Absolutely. Uh, you over there, with blue leg. Corrupt uh, socks. So I caught a rare Pokemon recently, but I dropped the Pokeball under a truck. Could it be possible to expense an HMO for strength? Uh, and get that comp back? 
I'll do my best, but do you have any idea? Just for some reason, it seems that in this universe, just you can't move trucks. I've never understood why, but it's like they're just glued to the ground. They were just there when the city was built. <laughs> best lead I got. But we'll, we'll try. Was that Pokemon? I, I'd suggest waiting. Have you ever noticed how moving vans appear and disappear when you're not looking? And it seems that if you like walk into a house for just one second and walk back out, they might be gone. <laughs> uh, in the green hat. Yes, first of all, I'd like to say that we are an evil opportunity employer. Oh, Ooh. oh, oh I like it. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, 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 he's good. Uh, okay. Behind the gentleman in the green hat. Do we need to graduate high school to join? No. <laughs> join right now. Well, criminal records stop me from joining. Uh, no. Criminal record is a letter yeah. of recommendation. Absolutely. Here's the thing. How many of us up here do you think graduated high school? <laughs> what? Two of you. So, uh, one other thing I'd like to do right about now before too many people leave. Uh, I want to have an evil laugh contest between the admins. Because we all know that a good evil laugh is healthy, it's fun, it can be menacing, it can be insane. Whatever type of tone you want, it could be cackling, it could be jovial, but make it evil, make it good. Starting with... Sure. Start at that end, I dance first. That's true. He makes a good point. I've been saying that. This is an uh, audience decides the winner here. So. Fun evil laughing can be. So, one, two, three, go. <laughs> 